Twin Stars, a science fiction audio adventure drama starring Greg Nugent as Imperial Officer Albert Tyson and Melissa D. Johnson as the space pirate Zhang Ping'an, two figures caught up in the civil war that rages now over humanity's last Empire of the Stars. Also starring... Steve Rickyberg as Lieutenant Ketch. Okay, Jet Servo as Commodore Momo. Daniel Whitelaw as Hassan. Paul W. Campbell as Deck Officer. Carl Cubbage as Bob, transport ship pilot. With Al Asiochi as Davis and A.J. Rich as Doug. Tonight's episode, Cat and Mouse. change. Stacks head station now. Half a day until we reach them. Damn. It'll be good to get someplace with gravity, but I gotta tell you, I'm not looking forward to this. Tell me about it. Last time I was through here on a cargo run, we were lucky to get out of here alive. Come on, your mom and took half our profits to stock and fees before he left us leave. Why the hell is this company sending us back? Contracts, my friend. They need supplies and we're it. Even if half our profits end up just going to pay off the base commander. I tell ya, it's gotten worse since the big shakeup. I thought St. Rail declaring himself Emperor would have made things better. He said he was going to make things stable. Do things look stable to you? I have half a mind to join one of the other factions. Then what the hell are we doing here? The Kamaju will pay us, he needs supplies. The troops can rot as far as the brass is concerned. Well that's stupid. Tell me about it. Hey. Did you feel that? Feel what? Felt like a shudder through the hull. Maybe space debris? Hmm. Ship systems are registering okay. No air leaks and nothing. Weird. What? The light for the access hatch just flickered on and off. Your turn to check it out. Gee, thanks. In the months since the incident at the Ares Hammer mining colony, my clan has worked to expand its territory. Already, we've absorbed two of the nearby pirate clans into ourselves. But with new members could come new troubles. So, as a little precautionary measure, I've taken the leaders of each of these former clans with me on a little raid before I assigned them duties. The command code you gave me aren't working. I'll have to break the system locks myself. Do it, Hassan. We don't want the crew to know we're here. A friend gave me a toy for such an occasion. Give me a moment. Former leader of the Bahir Pirate Clan, Akil Hassan earned his position through intelligence and cunning. He's a friendly guy, good-natured and a lot of fun, but not someone to turn your back on easily. There's someone coming. How far, Davies? Three compartments over. He's pausing to check something from time to time. ETA five minutes. Little is known of Davies' past before she took over the Kidlot Kamau clan three years ago. What is clear is that she's strong, dangerous, and very not human. Sounds like someone else I know. I didn't want to admit her at first, but then I remembered that old saying about where to keep your friends and enemies. She'd be a problem as an enemy. Let's see how she does as a friend. One compartment away. I will deal with him. No, Hassan. Patience, please. Have you ever heard the saying about rushing perfection? No, I don't bloody care. Just get the lock open. Targeting the door. I will kill him in one shot before he can summon help. Hassan! Finish. Everyone inside, now! Why, thank you, Hassan. What an amazing job. Oh, Pingan, you don't need to say that. Why, yes I do, Hassan, if it weren't for you. Hassan, shut up! Hmm. Everything looks okay in here, too. Must have been debris knocking something loose. Oh, well. I'll just head back to the bridge.
Commodore Mammon? Yes, Lieutenant Kish? We've just received a hail from the supply shuttle. They'll be docking within the hour. Very good, Lieutenant. Uh, sir? Yes? About the requests I asked for regarding leave time? Oh, yes. Requests denied. But, sir, the men are tired. We haven't had a crew rotation in nearly a solar year. You're saying the men are unmotivated? Find them. Pick a few troublemakers and put them on triple shifts. That should motivate them quick enough. Triple shifts? But that's a full 24-hour work schedule. They'll collapse. Hmm. Perhaps you're right. Send Lieutenant Messer in here. He's due for a promotion. He'll handle things the way they should be done. Messer is a sadist. Your point? My point is... I will see your orders carried out, sir. Very good. Dismissed. Your files, please. Here you go, sir. And, um... There's an extra case of wine in the 43rd crate, sir. I'm not sure how it got there, but I'm sure you can take care of it. That won't be necessary, crewman. You can save that for the Commodore. I'm sure he'll be more than happy to take it off your hands. Oh, um, yes, sir. All the files seem to be in order. You men, use the grav lifters and unload these crates. Use your files back, crewman. Welcome to Stagshead Station. You have access to the common areas, but I suggest you tread carefully. The men are more than just a little tense. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. The room is clear. Hassan? My toy is inside the network. The security monitors to this cargo bay are all disabled. In that case, let's get out of here before I die of toxic fumes. What do they store in these things? Curried beets. You don't like the smell? They make me rather hungry. Then you stay there and enjoy the smell. I'll call you when we're ready. Amusing. Not. Davis, guards outside? None I can detect. Then time to go. Hassan, send the message I asked you to. Then use that thing to begin clearing a path for us to the nearest service tunnel. As you wish, fair lady. Davis, you're on point. We need to get there undetected, so no bodies. They won't even hit the ground. Lieutenant Kish, welcome. Yes, sir. You wanted to see me? I did indeed. Come, officer. Put up that display I asked for, please. What do you see, Kish? A map of the cargo area, sir. Why? Look more closely, Lieutenant. Does not something seem odd? One of the internal sensors in the A43 corridor is offline. Oh, there it is, but the next one is offline now. It's a moving blackout, sir. How do you notice it? A special program I use to keep tabs on men who try to hide their activities from me. It looks for unusual patterns in the sensor grid that lets me know if anything is odd. This little pattern started in cargo room C-347. Does that sound familiar to you, Kish? It's one of the bays where he put the cargo that just came in in the transport. Cargo you are in charge of securing. I... I don't know what to say, sir. Everything checked out according to the manifest. Yes, I'm sure it did. Obviously, the crewmen who brought it in are part of this. Have Lieutenant Mercer get what information he can from them and kill them. I want you to take a detail down and deal with these intruders personally. Yes, sir, I will. In Lieutenant? Sir? 
deal with this crisis, Will, and you won't be taking orders from Nirsa tomorrow. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Someone just dropped into the tunnel. Behind us. We've locked down the network to this area. Access codes only. Sounds right. We've just got a bit farther to go. Davis, leave them a few surprises, won't you? By your order. Deploying explosive pellets. <coughs> Hassan, don't worry about keeping us off the grid. They've made us and we'll be circling the net. Just worry about the next step. Was bringing us on this mission really necessary? Yes. Now get to work. Pursue is eliminated. Unfriendlies closing from the front as well. Don't worry about them. Help me with these hatch bolts on the floor. Contact explosives on each, and don't miss one or we're dead. You're crazy. You know that. It's what I do best. Davis, almost finished? Done. Hassan, how much time? Ten seconds. You there! Halt or you will be shot! Whatever you say, sir. We're not moving. Everyone, put your hands up and surrender to the nice officer. Five seconds. Don't shoot. I'm quite helpless. That's it. Keep your hands where we can see them. Men, arrest these intruders. We'll take them to the Commodore for questioning. What? Sorry, Lieutenant. Too late. Have a nice day. They've blown the bolts on a hatch and the whole thing's dropped onto a cargo carrier train below. Incredible. If they timed that just a moment wrong, they'd have been all crushed under the train. Soldier, call up to monorail control and tell them to stop that train. The rest of you, follow me. Everyone okay? You're unbelievable, you know that? All part of the service. Get ready, there's a platform up ahead and we need to jump to it. This train will stop any minute once they call up to control, and we need to get off of it now. I believe I'm going to be sick. Just make sure you do it after we jump. Everyone ready? Let's go! Report. The train has been stopped, sir. We're taking a car to catch up with them now. You're too late. They've already abandoned the train. I'm very disappointed in you, Kish. I expected theater from an officer of your caliber. Sorry, sir. If you let us know where they are, I'll do my best to catch up with them. They're in the waste cargo holding area. Near the shuttle base, then. I believe we can safely say they're trying to find a way out. Very good, Kish. You're only one step behind the obvious. Oh, we've had the shuttle base sealed off, so there will be no escape from them in that direction. Even you should be able to pin them now. Do my best. See that you do. See that you do. frequency. They're dispatching extra forces to the shuttle hangars. Lots? And more. Good. Let's keep moving, people. We've got a schedule to keep. Davis, any sign of trouble? There will be no pursuers. My traps will see to that. It's not what's behind us I'm thinking about. There are three units I can detect. All squad level. Two closing, one lying in ambush ahead of us. Ah, they put out the welcome mat. How sweet. Can you handle them, Davis? Their equipment is third-rated best. They are no match for me. Then you're on point. Hassan, let's slow up and let the Master do her work. Just remember we're on a tight schedule. You will not be late. Dick Officer, how goes the chase? Commodore, they've eliminated three security units, ten dead, fourteen injured. Fine, fine. Don't bother me with numbers. 
How is the trap coming? Is everything ready? Yes, sir. We've got half the security detail waiting for them in the hangar bay. Excellent. It's a pity I won't be able to see their faces when... What? What is that? Sir, a ship has just uncloaked above the base. What? Get our defenses online! Sir, they're firing on us. Direct hit on the shuttle hangars. Atmosphere venting. Automated seals engaging. Uh, medical teams responding. We've lost them, sir. The whole hangars are a mess and we've lost most of our security Adam, forces. Adam, I want that ship destroyed. Launch fighters. We towed fire. They're running, sir. They've just engaged engines and are making a break for it at top speed. Good me, Captain Harrison. I want the defense fleet to pursue them. But, sir, what if there are other cloaked ships? They might be trying to lead us on. Then we will destroy them. They won't have a second chance to surprise us like that with our units in orbit. Then get me Lieutenant Kish, if he's still alive. I want an update on the intruders. Pingan, what were you driving? We almost hit that wall. Is now a bad time to mention I never learned to drive? I should never have agreed to this. Relax, relax. It's not that hard, see? No hands. <laughs> that's it, that's it. Stop this car right now. I'm getting off. Sorry, no can do. We've got one more stop on our tour. Davis, you okay? It was only a minor systems damage. I will be fine. I'm so sorry, Davis. I shouldn't have cut it so close on getting to the service tunnel. If it wasn't for you and your armor taking the blast, we'd have all been done for. You were caught by a random factor. It could not be helped. Do not blame yourself. You're hurt badly. Will you be okay? It will be best that I not do anything more than walk for a time. And you won't have to. Like I said, we're almost done. Just one more stop. The base computer core. Commodore, my men have located the intruders. They're en route to the base computer core. Finally, Lieutenant. You show some initiative. And here I was, ready to replace you with Lieutenant Mercer. Mercer's dead, sir. He died in the explosion in the shuttle hangar. Oh, I see. Well, still more than I expected of you. See to it that they are properly cut on off this time, and watch for traps. Or it'll be dumb to lead their capture personally. Are you sure that's wise, sir? They Maybe... have affronted me in my own home, Commander. And I will have my pound of flesh. Pursue, but don't move in yet. I'll be there shortly. Yes, sir. Catch out. Jack Officer, what's the status of the defense fleet? Still pursuing the pirate. It's ducked into the gas giant's ice ring. Tell them I expect results, or there will be severe penalties. Now you have the command. Inform me of any updates. Yes, Commodore. Hassan, any luck? None. They've shut down access to the network around the computer core, and all the blast doors are down, except that one. So, we're pinned, eh? ping -an. have I ever mentioned what happened to my cousin who tried a raid like this and got caught? Oh, I have a pretty good idea. Davis, do you have any clips left? None. I am sorry to report. And my legs still have not regained full functionality. Great. Well, it's been a good ride, folks. Intruders, we know you're pinned down. There won't be any tricks to save you this time, so surrender while you still can. That's our cue. Ready? Can I say no? <laughs> you can try. What assurances do we have that we won't be killed the moment we step outside? You have my word as an officer. You will be treated as prisoners of war and you will be treated fairly until you can stand trial. Somehow that doesn't fill me with confidence, Lieutenant. Then perhaps my word will be worth I am Commodore Mama, the commander of this base. Good evening, your lordship. What brings you out on a night like this? I want to see this finished, young lady, with as few casualties as possible. I will also echo the lieutenant's words. If 
You surrender now. No harm will come to you. Well, guys, what do you think? He can rot for all I care. His verge isn't worth the air that carries it. I couldn't put it better myself. Okay, we agree to surrender. We're coming out. Throw your weapons out first. Yes, that's it. Now come out slowly with your hands raised. I claim the right of prisoners of war for my people and I. I accept your claim. Men, arrest them and we'll take them to the detention area. We will do nothing of the sort. Men, take aim! But sir, you gave them your word of safe conduct. My word means as little as their sense of honor, Lieutenant. However, before we finish the job, I'd like to ask you what you expected to accomplish, young lady. Oh, not much. Just to distract you while forces loyal to me occupied all of your key systems. I think we did a pretty good job of it, too, wouldn't you say? Even in death, you just. Well, I'll see that smile wiped off your face. Men! Execute these parasites! Kill them all! <sighs> Stupid until the end. Fine, I agree with you. Parasites need to die. Do your duty, Lieutenant. You heard the orders, men. Shoot! <laughs> What? Why? Oh! Thank you, Lieutenant Ketch. You see what happens when you don't pay your men, Commander? They look for other sources of income. T traitors All of you! It takes one to know one, sir. I have to say, I've been looking forward to this moment for a long time. Goodbye, Commodore. Stag's head base is yours, ma'am. Thank you, Lieutenant. Would you mind calling off the hunt for my ship? I'll need it shortly. Being done as we speak, ma'am. I'm having them sent off chasing phantoms on the other side of the system. That should keep them away for several days. Good. More than enough time to clean out everything we'll need. I'll be in the Commodore's quarters. Let me know when my ship docks, will you? You wish to see me, ma'am? Yes, Lieutenant. Sit down. Hassan, Davis. I brought both of you here today because I wanted to see how you performed under pressure. You didn't disappoint me. There must have been easier ways. Oh, there are. But I needed to know how much I could trust each of you if you're going to be my wings. You have to trust me, and I have to trust you. Then we have passed this test of yours? You did. Starting today, I'm reorganizing the fleet, and each of you will command one of the three wings. Three wings? Are you keeping the largest fleet to yourself? Shouldn't I? I am in charge. I thought this was all about faith and trust. It doesn't sound to me like you trust us very much. Oh, I trust you. But you joined me because I'm not stupid, didn't you? Also... I want you to help Lieutenant Ketch here capture one of those system patrol ships. If he and his men can take it, they can join us. That's the pirate way, isn't it? What? You can't be serious. With all due respect, Ping An, he's a mutineer. Clan leader, Hassan has a point. He did betray his oath. Can we trust him? Lieutenant, why don't you tell them why you did what you did? Well, ma'am, as I told you, I just couldn't accept the Commodore's treatment of my men any longer. So as Central Command wasn't willing to help, I had to seek other means. I'm not proud of what I did, and I am definitely not happy that so many people had to die, but there didn't seem to be another way. Why didn't you just poison him, or have him killed by someone you could blame when the inspection came? He was too well defended, and too paranoid. He had to be lured out, and the men loyal to him eliminated, or we would never be safe. Reasonable. I withdraw my protest. I still don't like it. You don't have to, but you have to accept it because it's my choice. Lieutenant, any of your men who don't wish to join us get a free ride out of the system, and paid well, understand? Yes, clan leader. I want people to know they can trust us, and they'll spread the word. Which brings us to the next phase of our operations. 
I'm sending each of you on a mission, so prepare as quickly as possible. Are you returning to Sullivan K? No, I've got a mission of my own to go on. We need to start building political allies in the Empires, and I'm going to meet with some people who can help. Members of the Underworld? You might say that. I'm going to visit the Imperial Tax Office. Twin Stars, Book 2, Episode 1, Cat and Mouse. Written and produced by Robin Patterson. Opening music, Beyond Infinity by Peter Chen. Closing music, Victorious Day by Maestro Rage. Other music by Kevin McLeod and from Newgrounds.com. Special effects provided by Freesounds.au, the Apple iLife Sound Effects Collection, and purchase from SoundEffectsLibrary.com. This recording is licensed under a Creative Commons non-commercial share-alike license, so pass it around, please. This story and all its characters within are copyright 2009 Robin Patterson, all rights reserved. For more audio action adventure, come to KungFuActionTheater.com, where theater is spelled with an R-E at the end, because that's how it's done with style. Good night. Say again. <laughs>